Jörg, it's a pleasure to be here Sanjay. at your headquarters, Langs's headquarters here in Köln. Um, thank you very much for having me. Um, I thought it might be really good to uh, hear your views a bit around, you know, Langs's is breaking new grounds in terms of uh, new business models, new engagement models for your customers, the expertise, etc. What uh, and obviously data is really critical for all of this. Could you share some examples of some use cases where you've been able to leverage data and being able to, you know, drive this change for your uh, organization? Well, Sanjay, first of all, thank you very much for, for coming in. Um, yeah, data is like uh, what we um, look at differently now in the second year of our digital transformation because uh, data is the basis for uh, everything we would like to accomplish. Um, we are looking at data, massive data in our production areas. We're looking at massive data in supply chain, marketing and sales, and then uh, in everything around us. So um, what we have been doing is looking at the data now in a different way. We are loading up data um, and connect the dots and uh, do data analytics um, and uh, we use tools uh, like Trendminer in our production areas where we bring to our chemists and engineers now a new tool to have this golden batch idea to get recommendations how to run these, these uh, plants in a more efficient way. Yeah, no, it's really good to hear. And you know, I often say at, at Software AG, we say you know, data in silos really is not mm -hmm. not value. So it's really about bringing and moving this data around, and of course, giving access to the business to be really able to use that data. So you know, through your experience, your what what kind of uh, what uh, advice do you have for other executives in terms of how to leverage technology to be able to, you know, make themselves a digital enterprise? It's um, advice is uh, have courage. <laughs> I mean, this is new. Um, um, we are very uh, proud of what we have achieved. Um, chemistry was invented uh, in our company in this country. Um, we have a lot of uh, chemistry knowledge, a lot of engineering knowledge, a lot of business knowledge, and now uh, we must open up to new technologies. Uh, even if we have not invented the technology, even if we have not uh, yet used it. It's uh, fascinating to see when we combine the domain knowledge with digital technology, what the results are. Um, never forget the people, so you cannot push it through. You have to um, be patient sometimes, but at the same time, you have to also have to attract uh, people to um, look at these new tools. Uh, Trendminer is the perfect example because production people are usually pretty reluctant to look at new things. Uh, safety is our biggest goal. Um, we're very proud of uh, what we have been doing there, but the second they see that it's a benefit and also the, the ease of use, which is perfect at Printminer, that uh, you have a high acceptance because the second they see what's in there, um, they use it, um, they promote it, and they actually give us hints which might, you might also be uh, interested in because we say, well, this is cool. If this was possible, um, then this would even be cooler and it could uh, help us both to develop products like Trendminer further. Yeah, no, it's really good to hear. Now, of course, you know, sustainability is a really important point uh, factor in the chemical industry. And so how are you leveraging data to be able to help you with that mission and that objective? We just uh, announced uh, that we uh, have a new company goal, uh, which is uh, to be climate neutral by 2040, to cut the emissions by 50% in uh, 2030. And uh, this is a very, very tough goal to reach. And I strongly believe that we should use digital technology to um, go for that goal, um, to reduce emissions, to have less energy consumption and so on. Um, we are already in the process of using artificial intelligence in our product development for plastics. And as an idea of uh, perhaps putting into the DNA of new products, recyclability, biodegradability, uh, so that the focus shifts again towards this. It's not that we have not done a lot, but uh, we see way more potential now again in everything which is called sustainability with digital technologies. Absolutely. Well, it's really great to hear your bold ambitions there. and. Well, you know, look, you're, you're in, in your transformation journey and um, obviously we are very proud to be your partner to support you. So what's, what's next? What is energizing and exciting your teams and um, what should the customers be looking forward to from Lanxus? What's, uh, what's to come? 
use what we have started to implement. Um, Trend Miner is in 70% of our plans. We are trying to achieve 100% sometime soon. Um, we would like to attract more people uh, in the plans to uh, use it on a daily base, uh, connect the dots with other technologies we brought in. Um, we're looking at uh, even higher level of customer centricity to use not only these tools to be better in production, be better in doing the business, but to be um, even more reliable in our um, responsibility for the customers. Same time, we look at new business models. Um, there's a lot of ideas. Uh, we um, uh, founded a startup company, which is already running the largest uh, digital platform for the chemical industry in the Western world. Very exciting for us. Uh, we have never done such a thing, but it's fun to see the success. It's uh, fun to see that 16,000 people at Langsys are moving in that direction, and we got a lot of feedback from our people. So it's, uh, I think it's, we're just at the early beginning, but the future is bright. <laughs> Sounds like exciting times. So first of all, thank you very much for your trust, uh, Jörg, and I look forward uh, to continuing our partnership. Thank all you. the best. Thank you so much. Thank you.